everyone. I'm here with uh, Marie's Life Vlogs and Mysteries. At, at we're at uh, Bloody Bucket, but the Bloody Bucket Bridge. So let's go in this adventure. Goodness. You can see the bridge right there. Oh, is this the boat ramp? Yeah, this is the boat ramp. Oh, so we can walk down that boat ramp? Yeah. They don't use this no more, obviously. Do they? I think they do. Really? Wow, look at all the water coming up. There's nothing behind us, right? No. Damn, we thought it stopped raining or something, so we got out. I thought this was the water. No. That's the alligator. Yep. What's that up on the bank right there? Looks like a bag or something. Probably a dead body. <laughs> no, it looks like maybe a cushion. Huh? Maybe a cushion. And this is scary. Yeah. If we drop anything, it's rolling down. So it's rolling down the hill. Bloody bucket bridge, guys. I just don't know how far down we're going to get. I keep hearing something behind us. Wow. So this is where the story, like I wonder where the babies are all buried. They would be on the other side because... On the other side of the bridge? Yeah, the town's that way. Oh, wow. I don't know what you guys are seeing. My camera has a better light. Is your cell phone real dark? Um, It's not bad. It keeps getting blurry. I guess I should have got my camera. But if an alligator comes up that thing, I'm, the, I'm close. The water was lower than this last time. But guys, this was over the bridge. Yeah, I can't see. Oh, there's the bridge. The water was up over the bridge. Bloody bucket bridge. I'd like to come here in the daytime, Thomas. Yeah. So I could actually see the, you know, see things better. Yeah. And when it's not raining. I'm not walking any closer. You can go as close as you want. <laughs> I'm not doing it, damn it. I keep hearing my footsteps behind me. And there's nothing in there. Nothing. I was able to walk over there last time. I can't do it now. There's the bridge. Did it say up there? Griffin Bridge. Huh? Oh, Griffin Bridge. Yeah, Griffin Bridge. Ah. Oh. What's the matter? I just, across the, there looked like something. Something coming towards us? No. It was on the other side of the bridge, or other side of the river. It's probably a shadow or something. necrophonic because it's on my it's on my cell phone oh yeah so we don't have any gadgets um i don't have my other cell phone listen for a baby cry guys listen for what was it splashing well they're not going to hear because of the rain probably. right what is that i just want to make sure there's no alligators or anything coming down from the edge because if they come at us, we'll probably fall trying to get past. 
Oh, come on, stop raining, that's it. How many of you guys can say it real fast? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. There's no way to get it the other side though, huh? No, not unless we walk across oh. the bridge and then go down the deep ditch. We would have to walk over the bridge? Yeah. Oh, wow. I keep hearing, I keep hearing footsteps behind me, Thomas. I heard something a few minutes ago. What the hell is it? You guys hear the footsteps behind us? I know, I know it's ringing. I know that could be part of the sound, but I keep hearing something behind us. What if we could walk up there? I don't know. I probably don't want to. It's probably going to be slippery. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Oops. Oh, made it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just barely. I wish I had got my other camera since I got an umbrella. Because this one's not going to no justice oh. on the bridge. I mean, it's not going any, you know, the, not, the light's not very good. Right. My other camera's got good low light on it. I think I'm going to go grab it. Tonight. Okay. know if you see anything. Or hear anything. That uh, fog is me and my breathing because it is cold and Crappy out. I don't want to go any further because I'm gonna probably slide down, go in the water, and I really don't want to. Yeah. What is that? A ten. Oh, what is that? Where'd she go? Oh, that is uh, like a gator. Wow. Now we get down up this. Without sliding in the water. Oh, she's still way up there. What is that? I hope it's just a bag or something.
Do you hear that? Was that? Hello? It sounded like I heard somebody say hello. Is somebody there? Maria's up there in the car. Can you hear that? I think you're done. That was interesting, I didn't know. You could climb up that, that part. I'm glad I didn't grab my camera using my cell phone because my camera's not waterproof. My phone is neither, but the warranty is cheaper. It would be neat to see a gator. What was that? Tommy. What? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Did you lock your door? Um, no. I well, I. That noise. What is it? Oh my god. There's nothing there. Did There's you hear that. The noise behind me? That lady. What lady? Probably from the. Oh shit. <laughs> Did you hear it though? Yeah, I heard something. Okay, yeah. I don't even know what they're seeing. Oh my gosh. I need like a little umbrella just for the camera. I've <laughs> seen some, yeah. Just for the camera. Yeah. It's, it's not giving me a good. It's it's fogging up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. I think yeah. mine fogged up last time too. <laughs> we might have to do this another day. Damn. I got the necrophone or the, the spirit talker. I was gonna leave on. But I heard something behind me as soon as I yeah, came I down did here. Too. Did you hear it too? Yeah. Hopefully it stays clear. What is that across the street? You gotta listen pretty close because you can hear, um, you can hear, it's supposed to be able to hear children crying. That looks pretty deep. Now it's got fucked up. My camera's a little foggy, sorry about that. It was un under the air conditioning and I didn't think about it. But the story on the bridge is the old Reinhardt, um, old Reinhardt Pass bridge. And the bridge has been rebuilt um, 
I think in 2000, but don't quote me on that. Darn. But the story is that this is Wachula is on the other side of the bridge here. The town of Wachula. Okay, the story is in the late 1800s there was a um, a wife and a husband, ex-slave that moved here and she was a midwife. They moved here from Georgia and it said that when she was a midwife that she would she would deliver children it's called Bloody Bucket Bridge um, and you can see the full moon up there it's, the clouds are right in the way. But, um... Okay, in the late 1800s, the ex-slave and... What was that? Her husband moved here from Georgia. She was a midwife and she worked, she helped people deliver their babies in town. Now, this is just a legend. I don't know how real it is. And when the babies were born, she would fill the buckets with the, the blood from given birth, like the afterbirth and stuff, and dump, put it in a pail and dump it off the bridge. And she would uh, babies and bury them in the woods. I want to focus. turn this off for a minute. There. Okay. She would bury them here in the woods. And if it's right, it would be on that side of the bridge. Can you hear that? You're supposed to be able to, on a full moon, you're supposed to be able to hear splashes and children screaming from the woods. I can hear splashing. I just want to make sure no gator or anything comes up. Um, and the water was supposed, to, it's supposed to, when you look off the bridge at night, the water is supposed to be like a blood red color from her dumping the stuff in well there's two, there's a couple of different stories about it from her dumping the buckets in or um, when the townspeople realized that she was uh, children and burying them, she said that they would, they were stillborn. Damn it. 
she would say that they, the children were stillborn, and that's when she would bury them. Um, so there's supposed to be all kinds of paranormal activity. But after the townspeople stopped her from um, being the midwife, they, um, she would always see buckets filled with red, with blood, and she would bring it down to the river and dump it. And it ended up, the two stories, one is she ended up jumping off the bridge into the water and drowned because she couldn't swim. And the other story is she fell in when she was dumping the water. So, and this is just a legend, supposedly. Um, nobody knows if there's much truth behind it, which there could be, because behind legends, sometimes there is truth. But that's, uh, I want to keep watching for, to see if we see anything or hear anything. There is traffic here and there. And I brought some stuff to put out. Oh, that's fishing wire. Somebody must have dropped it. Um, I brought my spirit box and stuff. I want to do spirit box and see. If we get anything, I didn't see stuff moving in the water. I just want to make sure there's no gators. So let me set up the spirit box. Oh, I should have brought my tripod down here. anything with it. I have this here turned on. My name is Thomas. You can talk into this black box if you want and uh, communicate with us. And we would love to hear if this legend is has any truth to it. Okay. 
we use the mud way. Did you drown in this river? Good. I don't know if you can see, there's something big over there. I don't know where it went. You can see it swimming right through the water. And the water is really dark because of the cannons. Yeah, there's flashes. Are we safe here? Am I safe here? Do you still haunt this place? There's something in the water, I just want to um, make sure I can get away if it's a gator. Is there anything you would like to tell us? Can you show your car? Can you tell us some of the names of the children that died here? Are oh, the children still here? Still buried here? I want to go up on the bridge, but there's a lot of traffic. Oh, I thought there was a person. Oh, you can see pretty good through the camera. Okay, I'm going to shut this up now. Can you say goodbye? <clears throat> Thank you for talking with me. Goodbye.
stink is bad. You can smell something dead close by. Maybe that's part of the story. Let's go for a walk. Oh, yeah, there's... It smells really bad. There's dead fish. Ew. Sounds like something walking in the weeds. There's a bug over here, but or a bird or something. But I could hear that. And now she walks up and down the shore. People have seen her. Her spirit walking up and down the 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 bank along with children screaming in the woods um, at midnight on a full moon I think I'm forgetting something the um, ooh, what was that there's a car but Um, let's see what else. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but now this is only a legend, it doesn't say that it's true. There's no facts behind it. But it was in the early 1900, late 1800s, um, when this started. So, they didn't keep records back then. Very, um, very good records. So, who knows? Get a picture of the moon. This is the part of the woods be by the river. That smells really bad. I wanted to see if there was anything you could hear or see I don't know can you see the bridge I can hear something can you hear that The car's running, but um, I can hear something over here, over this way, walking. You're supposed to be able to see her spirit walking along the bank. I think that would be neat to see. Oh, dude. 
Did you hear that? It sounded like a person screaming. I can hear an ambulance or a fire truck or something. Sirens. But it's quite a ways away. <gasps> something just jumped in the water. This part of the story too, you can hear stuff jumping in the water or falling in the water. Ooh, what's back there? Is that a light? It looks like a light back there. Let me turn this off. Can you see it? That could be a light from somebody's house or something. Looks like it goes down right there. Ooh. Wow, my battery died. I don't know what that is. That's disgusting. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Alright everybody, I'm gonna shut this off and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Make sure you check out Murray's video. It's gonna be a lot longer than, than mine is.